next two days, ladies and gentlemen, and I formally welcome you to this wonderful initiative by Expediva Concepts. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Swami Vivekananda Ji ne bahut khub kaha hai ki yadi prithvi par koi aisa desh hai jise hum punya bhumi keh sakte hain, yadi aisa koi sthan hai jaha prithvi ke sab jivo ko apna karm phal bhogne ke liye aana padta hai, yadi aisa koi sthan hai jaha bhagwan ko prapt karne ki akanksha rakhne wale jivan matra ko aana hoga. यदि ऐसा कोई देश है जहां मानव जाति के भीतर क्षमा ज्योति दया शुद्धता और आदि सद्वृत्तियों का अपेक्षा व्रत अधिक विकास होता है तो मैं निश्चित रूप से कहूंगा कि वह हमारी मातृभूमि भारत देश है तो भाई एक ऐसे ही देश के बारे में बात करें भारत देश के बारे में बात करें जो पहले के जमाने में हम कहते थे कि सोने की चिड़िया कहा जाता था बट यस ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम द टाइम्स चेंज ब्रिटिशर्स केम टू इंडिया एंड व्हाट नॉट हैपन एंड टू द ट्रोलिंग 75 नाउ 76 इयर्स ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस इंडिया हैज बिकम ग्लोबली इकोनॉमिकली यू नो थर्ड इन द पोजीशन इकोनॉमिकली बात करें तो अक्रॉस द ग्लोब सो लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन इट इज बिकॉज़ ऑफ द स्ट्राइविंग एफर्ट्स and dedication of the people of india ladies and gentlemen isiliye hamare mahan hamare prime minister shri narendra modi ji ne make in india ka concept shuru kiya ki hum jo bhi hum yahan pe banaye wo pure world mein jaye why not you know we be an exporter for every small little things you know instead of we ex- we importing तो यही इनिशिएटिव है कि यहाँ पे लोगों को और रोजगार मिले और बहुत सारा हमारे पास जो स्किल्स हैं हमारे पास जो लेबर है जो पॉपुलेशन है उन सबको कुछ ना कुछ मिले इसीलिए मेक इन इंडिया का कॉन्सेप्ट शुरू किया गया तो मेक इन इंडिया इनिशिएटिव वाज लॉन्च ग्लोबली इन सितंबर 2024 बाय ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ भारत श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी एज अ पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया रिन्यूड फोकस ऑन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग The objective of the initiative is to promote India as the most preferred global manufacturing destination. Since the launch of this of this landmark initiative, the government of Bharat has taken several reform initiatives to create an embedding and enabling uh, environment for uh, providing an impetus to manufacturing, design, innovation, and startups. Bharat has emerged as the fastest growing economy globally. but its rate of growth ladies and gentlemen is exceptionally fantastic at 7.5% of accelerating and it remains an oasis of growth in the midst of a subdued economic landscape across the world the make in india initiative aims to make our nation bharat an integral part of the global supply chain and it is becoming and it's about making indian companies excel in globalized workshop and workspace bharat has vigorously opened up its economy defense railways construction insurance pension funds medical devices have all been rapidly opened up for foreign direct investments and today our proud nation bharat is one of the most open economies of the world in order to achieve this the government of bharat has taken up a series of initiatives and measures to radically improve ease of doing business its objective make the regulatory environment easy and simple for business to flourish and very rightly quoted by our prime minister sir come make in india a modi aggressive push to revive an ailing manufacturing sector has found resonance with india including single window clearances minimal procedures and cutting down cutting out of any red tapism pm modi sees make in india as a vital impetus for employment and growth and uh, that's where uh, experiva concepts comes in picture ladies and gentlemen we at experiva concept have been into events and concept marketing from 
eight, from many years, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we have initiated uh, this concept of Bharat, you know, waking up and getting all uh, the manufacturers and industry makers and the entrepreneurs of Bharat at one platform. And um, we create a marketing hub for them. That's how Bharat itself, it stands for uh, the business hub of accessible retail and trade. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to welcome all the exhibitors, all of you, all the supporters, all of our sponsors to the first ever initiative of uh, Expo Our Concepts that is part of the Expo and Awards 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, if we talk about um, Expo Our Concepts, uh, it is a creative organization consisting of experienced specialists that partner with a cohort of uh, world-class experts and our clients with one goal in mind, to strengthen and integrate the core growth drivers for business. Ladies and gentlemen, and um, uh, whether it be startups or MSMEs, entrepreneurs and venturing the opportunities that we create through different concepts and different events and expos, ladies and gentlemen, across the year. And this is because of your kind support and um, the vulnerable efforts of our team members that we have created this amazing initiative called Bharat Expo and Awards 2024. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, our chief guest is here. So can we have a huge round of applause for VCA Sri Anil Jain, sir. He is the chairman and NIRC ICAI. He is the international president of Mahavir International FX and uh, a partner to ASAP and Associates LLP. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, make a big noise and welcome our uh, chief guest, ladies and gentlemen, VCA Sri Anil Jainji, chairman and I are CICEI, international president Mahavir International FX and uh, Partner ACAP and Associates LAP. Can I have a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much. We have with us uh, the Managing Director of Australia Concert, Mr. Nitin Mahabharji. May I please uh, call on stage um, Ms. Elsa Sakhirabhi, uh, the Director IIRM University. Thank you so much for joining in, ma'am. May I please call on stage Mr. Kishal Sankarji, Secretary of Ventures. Please join us on the stage. And before we uh, begin, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this session with the uh, land batting ceremony, I will have uh, the first video of uh, the Bharat Expo and Awards 2024. Can we play the video, please? My Bharat, my Bharat, Aaj ka Bharat. आपका भारत सदाचार और संस्कारों में लिपटा हुआ अपनी संस्कृति और सभ्यता के नए अध्याय लिखता हुआ उन्नति की राह पर विश्व के समक्ष नए नए कीर्तिमान रचता हुआ भारत देश की बेटियों को शीर्ष पर उठाता हुआ महिलाओं के सम्मान के लिए प्रतिबद्धता दिखाता हुआ गरीब कल्याण में नित नई योजनाएं लेकर सबको समान अधिकार दिलाता हुआ भारत देशवासियों की सृजनात्मक शक्ति को सराहकर हर कार्य क्षेत्र में रोजगार के नए अवसर बनाकर भारतीय कौशल द्वारा स्वदेशी उत्पादन को प्रोत्साहित कर स्वावलंबी बनता हुआ आत्मनिर्भर भारत नव उद्यमी एवं व्यापारियों के लिए अवसर उत्पन्न कराता हुआ भारतीय संस्कृति तकनीक एवं विज्ञान का मंथन कराता हुआ नई बुलंदियों को छूकर विश्व गुरु बनने की राह पर अग्रसर विश्व के कल्याण में कदम से कदम मिलाता भारत तो आओ अपने भारत के विकास में तुम भी हाथ मिलाओ अपने व्यवसाय की उन्नति में नए आयाम बनाओ दिखा दो सबको अपना हुनर अपना कौशल अपनी सृजनात्मकता बन जाओ तुम खुद के उज्जवल भविष्य के वक्ता आओ और दिखा दो अपनी असीमित क्षमताओं का भारत देश के कुशल नेतृत्व में कंधे से कंधा मिलाता भारत 
सहयोग को तुम्हारे आतुर हैं क्रेता निवेशक एवं सरकार तो चलो लहराए भारत की पताका विश्व पटल पर अब की बार Expo Concerts present Bharat Expo and Awards 2024 Business Hub of Accessible Retail and Trade uh, with support of TPIIT Ministry of uh, Commerce and Industries Government of Bharat. Ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, start at this beautiful day invoking the blessings of Maa Saraswati and I request uh, our dignitaries on the dais to please uh, stand up for the lamp lighting ceremony. Uh, the ganpati bappa moria ladies and gentlemen dr kunda mahakaya suri koti samaprabha nirvignam kurme deva sarvakaryeshu sarvada sarvakaryeshu sarvada sarvakaryeshu sarvada shubham karoti kalyanam marogyam dhan sampada shatru buddhi vinashaya deepa jyotir namostute deepa jyotir para brahma दीप ज्योतिर जनार्दन दीप हर्तु मे पापम दीप ज्योतिर नमोस्तुते वी गो डाउन टू द ऑक्सिशियस लैंप टू गिव अ स्ट्रेंथ टू एम्बार्क द न्यू जर्नी ऑफ भारत एक्सपो एंड अवार्ड्स 2024 कैन वी हैव डिग्नेटरीज कैन फॉर अ फोटो अपॉर्चुनिटी प्लीज कैन हैव आवर ऑफ लवली इन जर्मन एट से वी आर माइटी भारत को जैसा बनाना चाहते हैं कोशिश कर रहे हैं एंड आई एम श्योर विद इनिशिएटिव ऑफ एक्सपेरियबल कॉन्सेप्ट इन एल ऑफ ऑल ऑफ यू जॉइनिंग इन वी आर डेफिनेटली स्टेप अहेड टूवर्ड्स मेकिंग भारत दी भारत यू नो लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर जॉइनिंग इन एंड लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन एक्सपेरियबल कॉन्सेप्ट टू मोस्ट ऑफ ऑल्स एपरेंटली ग्रोथ सिंपली मीन्स गेटिंग बिगर However, equality—it's about development and uh, improvement too. It's about progress and transformation. No matter whether you are an individual, an organization, a community, or society, growth is what we all strive for. Experiva Concepts is a creative organization consisting of experienced specialists that partner with a cohort of uh, world-class experts and our clients with one goal in mind: to strengthen and integrate the core growth drivers of businesses at our heart we are deep thinkers with a core competency in strategy and creativity we work extensively with startups and smes entrepreneurs and venturing departments to escalate ideas and uh, valuable businesses our thought process creates and designs rapidly and uh, builds out uh, innovative propositions from finding and sizing new market opportunities to building business models brands and communication strategies we have the expertise on hand and because communication have always been a core competency thus we work with our clients across all forms of events promotions advertising digital and customer communication from emotive above the line communications to below the line targeting journeys of a creative department and design studio are best in class that provides out of the box concepts and at the other hand ladies and gentlemen experiva concept have a vision to work closely in support of various initiatives taken by the government of bharat therefore we have planned this excellent series of exhibitions and conferences in the past and in the future and present too and um, taking care of the you know and participating with the the business owners entrepreneurs msmes and startups uh, for the contribution towards the growth of indian economy experiva concept is committed to contribute in the progress and development of our proud country bharat through its work and efforts and we expect that all the events and exhibitions organized by us will be playing a pivotal role in making our nation naya bharat vikasit bharat 
So ladies and gentlemen, on this note, may I please call upon the Managing Director of Xperia Work Concepts, Mr. Nitin Mahabur, to talk on the Bharat Expo and the uh, award training. Hey, back. Mr. Nitin Mahabur. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to thank you all to be here in a celebration of Make in Bharat initiative. Make in Bharat, Make in India. Make in Bharat is a thought. Make in Bharat is an initiative which is providing us a platform wherein we can showcase our innovation, our strength in terms of manufacturing in various products. Make in Bharat, Make in India initiative is a very powerful thought by our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi which has created a lot of jobs, a lot of entrepreneurship in our nation. Make in India, Make in Bharat, this initiative, it has seen a record in flown of foreign direct investment, FDI, with 85 billions in year 2023 which is a record. Make in India actually, it was launched in the month of September 20, 2014. And it is focusing with the objective to initiate, uh, to promote India as the most preferred global manufacturing destination. Since the launch of this landmark initiative, the government of Bharat has taken several reform initiative to create enabling environment for providing an impetus to manufacturing design innovation and startups after this bharat has emerged as the fastest growing economy globally with the growth rate of 7.5% which is a really a very big record across the world and also, Make in Bharat is an initiative which aims to make our nation Bharat is an integral part of the global supply chain. So with this thought, we also plan this initiative with support of uh, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, DPIIT, Make in India initiative, to recognize and encourage the contribution of startups and MSME towards the growth of Indian economy. And the prime objective which we are keeping to showcase and promote all kinds of products, goods and equipments made and manufactured in our, our proud country, Bharat. We want to felicitate their business tires with potential channel partners for a global reach. Also, we are aiming to attract funding support because that is the major challenge which startup people are facing nowadays. So we are, we are aiming to attract funding support through various angel investors and venture capitalists uh, for the startups and MSMEs to foster their innovation. Also at the other end, we wanted to enhance their skill development. Uh, we wanted to protect intellectual property and build best in class manufacturing infrastructure to strengthen our country. So this is a very small thought and we are really looking all kind of support from all of you. So I will not take much of your time. Furthermore, uh, I would like to invite uh, Ms. Alka Sajdeva to say a few words on Make in India initiative.
thank you so much nitin for uh, giving me an honor to speak over this platform and uh, uh, a very warm welcome to all of you very good morning to all of you thank you so much for uh, taking out time and uh, be present here to make this event a more successful definitely your presence matters a lot every individual's presence matters a lot in the contribution towards making india a global leader or you can say lead in uh, made in india products so it's a very good platform being created by uh, experiva concept i am really happy to be here and uh, speak about the concept this is actually the need of the hour subject and uh, which is very well uh, getting promoted by our uh, indian government as well they are very active to promote indianization in all the aspects all the products and developments whatever happening in india to make india a leader in technologies along with the export promotions and other opportunities created for uh, our youth and uh, contributing a lot in economic development so uh, further uh, i would like to say the the four pillars of make in india could be like what kind of mindset our youth is having what opportunities they are getting what kind of sectors new sectors are explored through the uh, through the new technologies or the future technologies what opportunities we can give to the new new uh, to our youth to create and build a mindset towards the growth providing them with the infrastructure what is required for the growth along with all the resources like for example uh, i would like to quote here is that future te technologies play a very vital role in development because the real time solutions what we are looking forward the old methods needs to be changed along with the implementation of the technologies and the, our youth is very well active in doing all those activities so uh, what kind of procedures we are following to make the changes so all these concepts or you can see the four pillars or to uh, develop make in india concept is our mindset then how well sectors can be explored the infrastructure provided and the procedures followed and all these things can be very well achieved with the future technology implementation at our education level as i come from a background where i very closely work with the educational system with indian government providing opportunities to the new startups like we do all those activities whatever is required to promote technologies at our education front to promote startups and make indigenization possible and uh, promote the concept of make in india um i would like to quote also here is that what is the aim of make in india like what is the objective so we are working in terms like uh, towards the directions uh, provided by our honorable prime minister modi ji uh, his uh, slogan is that zero defect zero effect like there is zero defect production is done with the zero defect there is uh, you can say up to the mark which which is uh, of export level or the products which can be which can be made differentiated from other countries so zero defect zero effect is promoted and zero effect here refers to the uh, there is no environmental uh, effect there is uh, there are no ad uh, adverse effects on the environment so all these concepts can be very well achieved with the new technology implementation and that can only be done when we provide these technology system or learning of these technologies along with hands on and project based uh, or you can say the real time exposure to our youth which is which we are providing at our university level as well and definitely at school level also innovations cannot be stopped at any uh, any particular set age is not there to promote innovations it can be done at any age group so when we are providing new technologies in our schools itself in school education system itself then definitely we are in the path in the right path of uh, getting uh, into like achieving the objective of make in india i would say it's a very good platform being created to promote all these activities uh, indian government is already very well doing in all those activities and education system is also contributing a lot so further not taking much of your time i really thankful to mr nitin for organizing this concept of uh, bharat uh, bharat expo and awards and i congratulate him and his organization experiva concept to develop this concept and platform to provide the opportunities to the youth
once again thank you so much for giving me opportunity to be here and i welcome you all to make this uh, this initiative of uh, mr nitin mahawar as his thank you so much thank you so much uh, uh, alkaman and uh, ladies and gentlemen our next uh, speaker may i please call upon mr tushar kansalji consultancy ventures to talk about their ventures and i'm sure how to make this uh, how i have to for everybody thank you thank you thank you everyone thank you nitin ji thank you uh, mr anil thank you alkaman uh well i have been a voracious reader and i always uh, used to think why india is so backward in manufacturing when we clearly see that china is making a whole uh, you know gdp out of manufacturing so um so i feel that you know india had 30% of world gdp came from india till the year around 1700 ad and china was around 24% and uh, the handlooms of uh, kolkata and uh, uttar pradesh they used to make the finest cloth for the world but uh, but you know the mills were invented in manchester and the britishers shifted all the manufacturing from india to abroad and uh, and the industrial revolution never came to india when the independence came 1947 uh there were no industries apart from little bit of tatas or little bit of birlas or somebody trying something or the other there was no industrialization the worst part was that uh, even after independence uh there was a lot of leftism in the politics and lot of communism so again uh, manufacturing was uh, not promoted so well uh it is to the credit of the current government that make in india actually came into prominence uh, the governments the state governments and the central government they started promoting uh, manufacturing in a big way having seen that china grew from 4 trillion dollar gdp to 20 trillion dollar gdp on the back of manufacturing and exports uh, which clearly showed the path forward for a industrialized and modern economy which is manufacturing and uh, it was not easy because uh, it is a concurrent subject uh, both a state subject and a central subject which means that almost 60 to 65 laws are meant to be adhered by any person who wants to have a manufacturing uh, facility and you know my friends who are in manufacturing they tell me stories of how it is so difficult to deal with government uh, when it comes to manufacturing and uh, the pre the previous governments had promoted smes a lot small and medium enterprises uh, that was in the belief that uh, that you know these companies will uh, give a very good uh, uh, in returns to the investors who happen to be middle class but china did the opposite they promoted huge manufacturing facilities which competed with global uh, manufacturing companies so now there is there is a change since the last many years uh, people are not afraid to set up huge facilities uh, you know the proof is that uh, iphone 20% of iphones in the world are manufactured in india today and just last week uh, 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 lockheed martin set up a facility for manufacturing super hercules which is uh, which is their very proprietary technology but they are willing to share it with the tatas because they have the confidence that now india has the laws now india has the support for manufacturing companies if you talk to some of your other industrialist uh, you know founders they will tell you that nowadays uh, if you want to get a land for a manufacturing facility uh, you will get it at the at a big discount and you will get it at the right locations uh just two days back i was sitting with an uh, industrialist who was a shoe manufacturer he got a 17 crore value plot near jawar airport just for 3 crores from the government but the but the clause was that he had to set up the manufacturing within 
one one and a half to two years. He can't just hold the land because if he doesn't set up the facility, the land has to be given back. So Madhya Pradesh is doing it, Uttar Pradesh is doing it. A lot of uh, erstwhile states which were not supporting manufacturing in a big way are now promoting it. Uh, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Maharashtra. Uh, these have they have these states have been the leaders. Uh, you know, Maharashtra has a GDP of one trillion dollars, which can be compared to the best of countries who are supporting manufacturing. But now we are seeing uh, Uttar Pradesh and the northern states also come up uh, come up in a big way. Uh, regarding Make in India, I would like to uh, personally congratulate Mr. Nitin for holding this event, uh, which is uh, has a strong focus on Bharat, which means that areas in India which are which have been underserved in terms of jobs and in terms of manufacturing facilities. So I really congratulate him for thinking of this and uh, conceiving this and uh, bringing it to fruition. So I thank each one of you uh, for coming here and uh, I feel that uh, India is at the right uh, moment. Uh, Henry Ford once said that each manufacturing facility which I set up for uh, manufacturing the, my cars, I give uh, employment to hundreds of people. The uh, purchasing power of these people, it goes up and they become consumers of my cars itself in some years. So the whole circle benefits the economy. Uh, it creates a healthy middle class. It creates founders. Uh, the governments get taxes. Uh, everybody gets business. So uh, this is the right way forward. And uh, thank you so much for coming here. And I look forward to uh, having a fantastic. I'd like to uh, call upon Mr. Anil Jain to give this talk. Thank you, everyone, and especially Mr. Nitin for inviting me here. And secondly, he has created this uh, concept of providing a platform to all the people who are related with direct, directly or indirectly related with the concept called Make in India, which has just been spoken by my predecessors. देखिए ये एक शुरुआत जब करते हम किसी चीज की जो अभी नितिन जी ने करी है भारत एक्सपो कोई भी काम की शुरुआत आइडिया से होती है कॉन्सेप्चुलाइजेशन से होती है सो कॉन्सेप्चुलाइज अगर इन्होंने किया है और उसको इस स्टेज पे लेके आए कि आपके सामने यहां पर बात कर रहा है तो ये भी एक बहुत बड़ी बात है आप उनको लिए जोरदार तालियां बजा के उनका उत्साह बढ़ रहा क्योंकि देखिए हम अपने अपनी जगह पे अपने अपने एरिया में बैठ के ये सोचते रहते हैं कि सरकार ये करेगी कोई और ये काम करेगा लेकिन हम कुछ केवल सोचेंगे और कभी कभी बारे में दोस्तों से बात करेंगे लेकिन कुछ करते नहीं सो मेक इन इंडिया जो कॉन्सेप्ट इस इंडियन गवर्नमेंट ने अभी प्रेजेंटली शुरू किया ऐसा नहीं है कि कोई नया कॉन्सेप्ट है कॉन्सेप्ट बहुत पुराना है सब लोग यहाँ पर हिंदुस्तान में काम करते रहे और अच्छे अच्छे काम करते रहे क्रिएटिविटी के हमारे यहाँ कोई कमी नहीं है ईच इंडिविजुअल इज हैविंग अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ कैपेबिलिटी बट एक क्वेश्चन मार के उसको स्केल करना नहीं आता उसको उसको बड़ा करना नहीं आता अदरवाइज काम को हम चाइना से भी ज्यादा करते हैं या आइडियाज हमारे पास किसी भी और देश के कंपेरिजन में बहुत है हमारे छोटे छोटे विलेजेस में छोटी छोटी जगह पर एक एक आदमी के पास कैपेबिलिटी भरी पड़ी है लेकिन उसी को उसको आगे बढ़ाना नहीं आता स्केल करना नहीं आता आगे उसको कैसे वो नेशनल या डिस्ट्रिक्ट या नेशनल या स्टेट लेवल या इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे लेके जाए उसको पता नहीं है एंड देर फॉर दिस कॉन्सेप्ट कॉल मेक इन इंडिया इज क्वन बाय द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ द इंडिया इन टू अब ये जो जो कॉन्सेप्ट क्वन किया इसके पीछे क्या है कि पूरा इन्वायरमेंट क्रिएट करना जैसे अभी कुछ लोगों ने बोला कि मिनिस्ट्रीज भी काम कर रही है स्टेट गवर्नमेंट लैंड प्रोवाइड कर रही है कंसेशनल रेट पे 
गवर्नमेंट उनको इंसेंटिवाइज कर रही है कि किसी भी तरीके से आप इसको बढ़ाएं फैक्ट्री को लगाए प्लस यही नहीं मेक इन इंडिया का मतलब ये नहीं है कि इंडियन लोगों को ही प्रमोट करना है कि वो अपनी इंडस्ट्री या अपना जो हुनर है उसको आगे बढ़ाए लेकिन इंडियन गवर्नमेंट कहती है कि बाहर से भी कोई आकर के हिंदुस्तान में कुछ बनाए यानी कि वी आर इन्वाइटिंग दर्ल्ड टू इंडिया प्लीज कम मेक इन इंडिया सो यू मैन्युफैक्चर हेयर एंड देन ट्रेड एंड एक्सपोर्ट टू द्रॉस दो सो दैट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट सो मेक इन इंडिया ऐसा नहीं है कि केवल हमारे और आपके लिए है इसमें बहुत सारी मतलब इसको अगर हम बोलें तो असीम संभावनाएं छुपी हुई है अगर इस कॉन्सेप्ट में आप जैसे अब यहां पर आए देखिए नितिन जी ने ये काम शुरू किया इस इनिशिएटिव को लिया सोचना और उसको जमीन पर उतारना यहां तक का काम उन्होंने किया लेकिन अब इसकी सक्सेस या इसको बहुत बड़ा बनाना हमारे और आपके हाथ में अगर हम नितिन जी का साथ दें हम सोचें कि हम इसको कैसा बड़ा कर सकते हैं जैसे अब आप लोग आए हैं यहां पर जब आई गए हैं तो इस बारे में सोचिए सो मेक इन इंडिया के कॉन्सेप्ट में जो छोटी छोटी जगह पे जो जो लोग काम कर रहे हैं जिनके पास कोई स्पेशलाइज नॉलेज या स्किल है उस स्किल को शार्पन करने के जितने तरीके हो सकते हैं उसमें अगर आप और हम कोई सपोर्ट कर सकते हैं बाय वट एवर मीन्स बाय वट एवर वे बाय वट एवर डिवोटिंग वट एवर टाइम सो अगर हम वो कर सकते हैं दैट वुड बी अ ग्रेट कंट्रीब्यूशन टू द कंट्री एंड टू दीपल स्पेशली हु शार्पन देर स्केल एंड स्केल अप तो अब स्केल अप करने के लिए देखिए गांव में एक छोटा सा आदमी या छोटी जगह पे एक छोटा सा आदमी वो आर्ट बनाने में बहुत एक्सपर्ट है लेकिन आर्ट बनाना उसको इतना तो आता है कि वो एक दो आर्ट अपनी बना लेता है लेकिन उसको स्केल करना नहीं आता अब स्केल करने के लिए क्या चाहिए उसको इनके जैसे फाइनेंसर चाहिए जो उनको कहीं पे ऑर्गेनाइज कर दे कोई लैंड दे दे उसको या वो अपने साथ कुछ लोगों को एम्प्लॉयमेंट कर दे कुछ उसको बढ़ा दे फिर उसका सोशल मीडिया में इसको प्लेटफॉर्म दे दे या नितिन जी की तरह कोई एग्जीबिशन लगवा दे तो उससे क्या हो गया कि जैसे जैसे वो बड़ा होता जाएगा उसका एक्सपोजर बढ़ता जाएगा एक्सपोजर बढ़ेगा उसका कॉन्फिडेंस बढ़ेगा और उसकी नेटवर्किंग बढ़ेगी एंड द मोमेंट ही बिकम्स कॉन्फिडेंट देन ही कैन डिलीवर टू दर्ल्ड तो मेरा मानना यही है कि मेक इन इंडिया का कॉन्सेप्ट बहुत अच्छा कॉन्सेप्ट है प्रोवाइडेड हम और आप केवल बात ना करें कुछ इस बारे में काम करें और ये प्रोफेशनल गेन के लिए भी हो सकता है हमारा फायदा भी है क्योंकि अगर मेरी स्किल देखिए मैं मैं अपने बारे में बात करता हूं बाय प्रोफेशन आई एम ए चार्ट अकाउंटेंट राइट सो दैट्स माय प्रोफेशन सो आई आई एम सपोज टू बी एक्सपर्ट ऑफ द फाइनेंस एंड कॉर्पोरेट लॉज एंड एवरीथिंग Second, my exposure because I have been associated with the Institute of Chartered Accountants also as the chairman of the Institute of Northern India in 2005-6. So the network is complete. सब कुछ है. अगर किसी को कुछ चाहिए, तो अगर मैं चाहूँ, मैं करता नहीं इसमें काम. लेकिन आज मैं यहाँ आया हूँ तो मैं सोच रहा हूँ कि इसमें ऐसा क्या चीज़ है जो मैं नहीं कर सकता. अगर कोई व्यक्ति मेरे पास हो या ऐसा आए, तो मैं उसको हर चैनल से मिल हर वो काम करा सकता हूँ उसका जो जरूरत है लेकिन मैंने कभी सोचा ही नहीं क्योंकि तो कभी मैंने इस बारे में ध्यान नहीं दिया आज इन्होंने यहाँ बुलाया इस बारे में बात कर रहे हैं तो अभी मेरे माइंड में ये आइडिया आ रहा है कि मेक इन इंडिया तो बहुत अच्छे से प्रमोट कर सकते हैं सो so, मैंने बोला माई प्रोफेशन इज अ चार्ट अकाउंट सो सेकेंड माई क्वालिफिकेशन आई है बट मैं एक दो आपको नरेट कर रहा हूँ केवल ये बताने के लिए कि छोटे से बड़ा होता है एक वी रन एन एन जी ओ कॉल्ड महावीर इंटरनेशनल ये इस एन जी ओ के तीन सौ पचास ब्रांचेज हैं ऑल ओवर दंट्री मैं उस एन जी ओ का प्रेसिडेंट हूँ इंटरनेशनल प्रेसिडेंट बोलते हैं यहाँ पर सो so, उस एन जी ओ में हम चैरिटी और सोशल सर्विस का काम करते हैं सो इट इज नॉट फॉर गेन नो बडी इज टेकिंग एनी थिंग एवरी थिंग इज जस्ट विद द इंटेंशन टू गिव बैक टू दोसाइटी दैट्स दाइम मोटिव अब उसमें जो 350 ब्रांचेस है हम उसमें बहुत तरह का काम करते हैं अब मैं जो बात कर रहा हूं कि ये स्टार्टअप क्या है और मेक इन इंडिया क्या है जैसे 1975 में हमारा ये एनजीओ किसी ने जयपुर में पांच लोगों से शुरू किया पांच लोगों से उनके माइंड में आइडिया आया कि हमारे पास सब कुछ है चलो सोसाइटी को कुछ वापस देते हैं अब यह एक आइडिया है जस्ट टू मेक दी जो इकोनॉमिकल वीकर सेक्शन ऑफ दोसाइटी है उनकी लाइफ को 
थोड़ा सा बेटर बनाने के लिए उनके दिमाग में आइडिया आया कि मेरे पास ठीक ठाक है चलो मैं किसी को कुछ देता हूं तो उसने वो पांच लोगों ने वो एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बनाई 1975 50 इयर्स कंप्लीट हो गए बहुत स्ट्रगल है आसान नहीं है सोशल सर्विस करना कोई भी व्यक्ति अपने लिए तो काम करता है दूसरों के लिए काम नहीं करता है तो दूसरों के लिए निस्वार्थ भाव से काम करना एक बड़ा काम है तो उन लोगों ने करते 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 उस स्ट्रगल को किया तो आज इंडिया में 350 ब्रांचेज हैं 10000 मेंबर्स हैं इस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के 27 हॉस्पिटल चलते हैं 52 एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन चलते हैं वृद्धाश्रम चलते हैं स्कूल चलते हैं आर्टिफिशियल लिंग सेंटर चलते हैं इट्स अ बिग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वेरी बिग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बट किसी ने तो शुरू किया ना शुरू तो इतना सा जयपुर से पांच लोग केवल 100 रुपए कंट्रीब्यूट करके मैंने उनका आर्टिकल मेमोरेंडम भी देखा अभी पीछे गोल्डन जुबली का फंक्शन हमारा हुआ सो so, मैं तो कर उस जमाने में नहीं था 1975 में आ, नहीं एक्टिव था इस चीजों के लिए लेकिन मैंने जब वो गोल्डन जुबली में उसको देखा तो 1975 में जिन लोगों ने किया ओनली दे कंट्रीब्यूटेड 100 रुपीस ईच सी अगर ऐसा लगता है कि क्या काम कर रहे हैं कुछ करना है तो जैसे अब आज यहां पे लोग आए कोई स्टार्टअप है किसी के पास अगर कुछ भी आईडिया है टू मेक द इजी इज द लाइफ ऑफ समबडी तो वो आईडिया के ऊपर अगर कोई काम करे और लगातार काम करे और उसको सपोर्ट मिल जाए और हम सपोर्ट देते रहे तो वो महावीर इंटरनेशनल जैसा एक बड़ा वर्क्स बन सकता है जहां पे प्रॉफिट के लिए नहीं समाज सेवा के लिए भी 350 सेंटर काम है और 100 करोड़ रुपए साल का काम करते हैं थैंक यू सो मच Thank you so much, sir, for the inspiring words. And so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, I'm sure let me, you know, uh, I have this amazing, uh, very beautiful, very near to my heart, this motivational poetry uh, to be recited for all of you. I love for it. It's in Hindi, and I'm sure you will love it. In fact, you know, Hamadi Bharat, we are global economy. So uh, it is not that very good across the world if we talk about. But Hindustan, Bharat Desh, more of this is sent. So it is definitely a difficult you know. It is written by It is written by Narendra Varma Ji. 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 मुश्किल है पर इतना भी नहीं कि तुम कर ना सको मुश्किल है पर इतना भी नहीं कि तुम कर ना सको दूर है मंजिल लेकिन इतनी भी नहीं कि तुम पा ना सको एक दिन तुम्हारा भी नाम होगा तुम्हारा भी सत्कार होगा तुम कुछ लिखो तो सही तुम कुछ पढ़ो तो सही तुम चलो तो सही तुम चलो तो सही सपनों के सागर में कब तक गोते लगाते रहोगे सपनों के सागर में कब तक गोते लगाते रहोगे तुम एक राह को चुनो तो सही तुम उठो तो सही तुम कुछ करो तो सही तुम चलो तो सही तुम चलो तो सही कुछ ना मिला तो कुछ सीख ही जाओगे कुछ ना मिला तो कुछ सीख ही जाओगे जिंदगी का अनुभव साथ ले जाओगे गिरते पड़ते फिर संभल ही जाओगे फिर एक बार जीत ही जाओगे तुम चलो तो सही तुम चलो तो सही चलना बहुत जरूरी है राइट so what happens in life that you know कुछ difficulties आती है कुछ मुसीबतें आती है hurdles आते हैं especially in the entrepreneurship अगर बात करें sir तो businesses में बहुत सारे उठाचाड़ा आते हैं seasonal कुछ होता है तो season नहीं हो रहा season के time पे ठीक ठाक है season नहीं हुए तो फिर भी products बिकते हैं नहीं बिकते हैं but ये सारी चीजें uh, in fact you know global economy की भी बात करें तो बहुत उठाचाड़ा especially for the entrepreneurs businesses it is very difficult because they just don't run for themselves. They run for the other people. They run for the other people who are working for them. They run the houses of a lot of people. So they have a lot of responsibilities on their shoulders. And that's how, you know, making Bharat, making India. It's a fantastic initiative by Bharat government. That, you know, uh, and the initiative to bring all the entrepreneurs at one place, ladies and gentlemen. This is our initiative by Experia about concepts, and it definitely needs a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Can you have a round of applause for this absolute amazing initiative by Experia?